Epigenetics is a term that most people aren't familiar with yet in our medical research world, but it literally translates as above the genome. All of the cells in your body have exactly the same DNA, and yet when you look in the mirror, you can very clearly see skin and eyes and hair and all the different tissues that are made up. Um, so we have to think about how can your body actually do this when the genetic material is exactly the same. While genes are building blocks of our existence, uh, the, all cells in our body have the same genes. And the question is how each cell knows which genes are relevant to that cell and which, which genes are not. And the field that deals with understanding the molecular mechanisms of this distinction, these patterns that arise in us, is called epigenetics. Genes are key to, uh, to understanding how things work, but not just the genes, but how genes are regulated and the differences in regulation. That's what makes it, I think, the most interesting. My work has been very focused on those earliest epigenetic changes in a cell. So how do environmental toxicants, how does stress, how does altered hormonal regulation affect your cells and lead to those very early changes that can down the road lead to tumorigenesis. Breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in women. 90% of women when they're first treated uh, do survive after their initial treatment. However, the cancer can recur, it comes back 5, 10, even 15 years after uh, the initial treatment. Until recently, it was commonly thought that the reason for cancer is genetic. There are mutations or certain genes that get lost, so these events cause cancer. University of North Dakota is a wonderful place for one big reason. We have this group of researchers that work together, we collaborate together, and I think that is one of the most exciting things about working here. We treat animals with drug of abuse, such as cocaine and amphetamine, in order to test how these drugs affect future generations. We want to discover how drug of abuse um, change gene expression and how these changes are passed down uh, to future generations. Well, the success of our uh, research group uh, definitely will not be possible without the help and the support of our chair, our dean, and the administrative staff. I feel very uh, fortunate and appreciative that the University of North Dakota uh, support and invested in our scientific ideas. The main attraction for me, and I think it should be for many scientists, is to understand how things work, how the genes work. And understanding how genes work, I think, today is one of the coolest things you can, you can imagine. We've received a grant at the University of North Dakota School of Medicine and Health Sciences from the National Institutes of Health that will be utilized towards doing research for epigenetics. It funds a total of five young investigators to pursue their own research goals, but also really builds epigenetics capacity um, throughout the university. This is a really important area for North Dakota as well because many of the diseases associated with aging have very strong epigenetic components. And so a lot of our constituents and a lot of our um, people in the community um, should be very excited by this. We're gonna really hopefully be able to make some tremendous progress um, on several really debilitating diseases. The epigenetic grant will allow us to hire new talent and also provide us to um, continue the study and to progress in these very new excited fields, which is epigenetics. The recent epigenetics COBRI grant that we just received is only going to help us um, get better infrastructure. And we'd like to put up UND on the epigenetics map. The new grant will bring a lot of new technology. I know a lot of the professors part of the grant are really trying to make a name for UND for the future, for the epigenetics core, for the biochemistry program, and the new basic sciences program. So they're bringing in a lot of new things, new ideas, new topics to try researching and investigating. UND is a great place to say, great place to do research. A lot of the professors are wanting undergrads. They constantly want new people learning their science and more or less likely you will end up in a lab. So then you can actually get hands-on experience to see if that is what you want to do. 
This is a really, really key area for students moving forward. Studying the epigenetic basis for disease in other disorders is very, very new. And any undergrad at this point is going to be exposed to this whole new world. For years, one of the biggest projects in science was sequencing the human genome. And we thought that was going to be the be-all, end-all. The order of complexity of the epigenome is, is really staggering in comparison to the genome. And so we're going to have to devote a lot of time and energy and resources over the next decades to really focus in on the epigenetic changes in various diseases and how we can target them. And that's really exciting and really encouraging for the future. I think it's going to be an area of huge growth for students coming forward.